Spider-Man No Way Home is absolutely smashing box office records, and AMC is undoubtedly going to receive the benefit of that. Now guys, we're going to talk about some of the numbers for Spider-Man No Way Home. We're going to talk about its opening weekend at the box office. We're going to talk about global box offices, and really how phenomenal this movie is doing right now, and why we should expect AMC to follow along with it, because I'm going to tell you this. AMC in, in movies right now, breaking record after record, short interest at record highs. This is a recipe for absolute disaster for the short shares that are outstanding on AMC stock. They should be scared. You should be excited because things are looking incredible. So if all of this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks, you can use the link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account, and a $100 deposit is going to get you at least five free stocks, and then any $1 crypto trade is going to get you at least $5 in free cryptocurrency. So make sure to take advantage of that before December 23rd third because once December 23rd rolls around the promotions no longer no longer going to be here and I think it's probably going to go back to two stocks per person so I mean get some extra three stocks right now just by getting in and, and getting in early AMC stock it's beautiful guys the numbers are in I don't have the exact numbers but I've got some rounded numbers 250 million dollars in its opening weekend in the United States domestic box office it's just shattering records $250 million is more money than any movie has made in its entirety in the United States since the onset of, of COVID-19. Now, this is incredible that Spider-Man did this in its opening weekend. If you go out to the global box office, it's over $500 million that Spider-Man brought in. Guys, this is the third most global box office, I believe, ever. And it's the third best opening weekend since Avengers Endgame and Avengers Infinity War. This shows us so much, okay? I'm not going to go into too much more into detail uh, about the numbers on that. But what does it show us about AMC stock in the movie theater industry? Clearly, AMC stock is not dead. Clearly, the movie industry is not dead. Clearly, the short shares are, are just trying to survive at this point. Because if we're being honest with each other, at the beginning of 2020, the movie theater industry was very bleak. You literally were not allowed to go to the movies. You literally were not allowed to, to gather in, in large quantities. But now we are breaking records. I mean, nobody is going to go out there and, and short a stock that is doing incredible. Now, they're going to continue shorting AMC stock because they believe it is overvalued. Although it may not be facing bankruptcy at this point, they believe the stock price is overvalued. And that is exactly what they have continued to do, is short it. We're sitting at a record high short interest on AMC right now. 21 plus percent, over 107 million short shares estimated to be out on AMC stock right now at a time. When the theater has is doing better than it has literally ever done before. I mean, even if you go pre-pandemic numbers, Spider-Man ranks top three on all of the opening weekends that are out there. Domestic sales at 200, I believe, $253 million ranks this movie in top three. That just goes to show you that people are willing to go to the movies, that revenue will continue to increase. And if we don't give up, the short shares will have to give up because AMC is nowhere near collapsing or facing bankruptcy and so on. I mean, it is incredible to me that people are a little bit discouraged by the stock, that people are a little bit discouraged by AMC stock's performance since June. But all of the numbers that support a short squeeze are better now than they have ever been in all of 2021. If you look at January, 
when AMC stock was trading at $1.90 per share. Sure, the stock price was short. And sure, hedge funds were willing to short AMC stock at $1.90. But AMC was debt ridden. AMC had no revenue. AMC was struggling and really having a hard go of it. And now AMC is trading at better prices. AMC is bringing in record amounts of revenue. AMC is is paying down its debt and has $1.6 billion in cash and $1.8 billion in liquid assets available. It is phenomenal to see the turnaround and it is phenomenal to see that the short squeeze is still in just as much, it's, it's just as available now as it was back then. The entry price might be a little bit higher. But if you're looking at the numbers that we've had, the June run-up, everybody gets excited about the June run-up. Everybody wants to see a stock go from $12 to $70 in a week's time. But people were willing to buy it at $50, and they're unwilling to buy it now at $30. That's the part that is very hard for me to comprehend. How people get excited about something when it's in a worse position, and then when it's in a better position, they're not as excited. Guys, you should be more excited about AMC stock squeezing now than you have ever been before. And I understand. I understand that you know nobody wants to wait a year to become billionaires. Nobody wants to wait a year to become millionaires. But you got to get over that at some point. You, you, you have to get over that. I mean, if you want to make money in the stock market, yes, patience or luck. Those are the only two options you're going to have, patience or luck. And at this point, I think you're choosing patience because you've been here for the better half of a year, and those that chose luck have already paper-handed and got out. So I, I am just, I'm just ecstatic that Spider-Man has done so well. I mean, that's all good. And, uh, you know, the fundamentals of AMC are improving. That's all good. But I'm ecstatic that these short sellers are still giving us this opportunity for AMC stock to squeeze so much higher than $70 per share. And if you're looking and wondering whether or not you should get into AMC right now, you know, clearly the decision is yours, but you do need to know things like the short interest, which is at 21%, the amount of short shares outstanding, which is 107 million. The fact that AMC is sitting on $1.6 billion in cash, $1.8 billion in liquid assets. The fact that AMC is bringing in record revenues right now. And, and the fact that, you know, it's, it's still on. Plain and simple. It's still on. If you thought about it then and you missed your opportunity, now's your second chance. So guys, I hope you are excited as I excited as I am. If you are, let us know down in the comments below. If that button's still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. We will Gemini Binance in the description below. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.